So guys, we are at the White House. Good morning. And it is kind of nice, about 60s or so. Uh, today is Wednesday. Joe Biden was scheduled to go to Chicago today, but that's been canceled. He is going to a funeral mass for the former uh, Indiana Governor Bai's wife. So that's the first lady of Indiana. Now he probably knew her from his days in the Senate and paying his respects sometime around noon. Uh, at the White House today, there's basically arm twisting going on. We're going to see cars coming in from the U.S. Capitol with senators and congressmen getting their arms twisted on this uh, funding bill. Uh, but other than that, not much on the public schedule. Some of you are interested in the black squirrels. Yeah, we do have black squirrels here in Washington. And they bounce around pretty much like any other random squirrel, except they're colored black. Black squirrels of death. Well, I add the of death part myself. Should I go try to get close to it? Let's see. It almost looks blue, doesn't it? It's like a blue-purple alien kind of color. Yeah? It's kind of like glowing. Alien, radi react <laughs> alien radioactive squirrels at the White House. I could just see the headlines in some people's uh, tabloids. All right, have fun, squirrel. So, same old protesters. This is the Korea woman who spells it with a C. This guy, I don't know what he's got his sign today. Hate, hate won't make America great. That's what his sign says. But let's go up to the fence line since the road is now open. Look at that sky. What a beautiful day. So. <laughs> Go into the fence. So much nicer today. So they do have some little flags along here. Maybe a new pipeline of some sort connects out. So some of you have asked why they don't land the helicopter on this side, and I think I think now that we're here it's pretty clear. There's just really no room to land a helicopter. I mean, in a pinch, in a pinch, I bet a marine pilot could get a helicopter in here, but on a day-to-day -day basis, with that fountain and those shrubberies, it's just, it would not be an easy place to put down Marine One. So that's why they use the South Lawn. I think they have a little buzzer, so if someone's coming out, they know someone is coming out from the White House, and they're there to open the door. Yep, here he goes. So, you got a little beep that somebody was coming out. Back into position. That's the media booth. You can see whatever TV guy that dude is giving his, uh, or is a congressman, giving his uh, morning report from the White House. I think he's the only one that's live at the moment. At the moment, the White House is pretty quiet, yeah? There's uh, not a lot going on. I'm gonna go, I think the president's getting his daily brief, so we could probably go around the back and see the blob entering the national security apparatus that gives the daily brief every morning. I'm getting ready for a flood. Well, not exactly. I've told you about this many times, that this is actually a flood levy system, a portable flood levy system. And today, they're doing a levy test here on 17th Street, right by the White House. They are testing the levee system. So a crane will come in and lift the barriers right into the road to prevent against this massive flooding that can take over the White House, Federal Triangle, the IRS, all the way up to the U.S. Capitol building. This whole area is protected by a levee, a portable levee. So let's go take a look at it. It looks kind of cool. They test this like once or twice a year. National Park Service is in charge of this thing. And they bring out a big crane. So it's not like it's an instant pop up, like, you know, tsunami is coming, stop the flood kind of thing. It's more for when they've got a lot of pr preparation and planning for a flood to come in. So it looks like they put the levee up and I think they're now taking it apart.
everything is marked so they don't forget where to put it. So here you can see the levee system from the other side. This is uh, the water side. And you don't really notice, but there's actually a levee built into the ground that's all elevated land over there. About 10, 15 feet of a hill that runs the length of Constitution Avenue as a levee to protect that part of town town. So all the parts are specifically labeled so they know exactly what order and where to put them. It's a well-organized machine. So just for point of reference, this is 17th and Constitution. The White House is down over there at 16th and Pennsylvania, a distance of about four or five blocks. But it would be easily flooded if the waters rose up to, this, up to the point of the levee. When the wind blows and the sun is reflecting, it's actually kind of eerie. It almost looks like waves, sparkly little waves. I'm not even sure my camera can do justice to the different reflections that are coming over the flags. So we're out here on the National Mall. You can see the U.S. Capitol back in the background. And they're setting up a stage. And they've got the uh, Lego uh, plastic floor thingy that they pull out every now and then. And they're setting it up for several blocks. Several blocks. The workmen down there are still snapping it together. And they've got tons of it over on the side. Don't know what the event is this weekend. Uh, we'll go look at the Park Service calendar and see if we can figure it out. they got spotlights set up. Oh, there's one of those annoying security cameras. Those are the new security cameras I showed you before. Hmm. Some noisy protest going on at the vice president's place. Vice president isn't around, but they're still making noise. Anyway, uh, Joe Biden is in the White House, or no, in the National Cathedral at a memorial service that's going to go on for another 15, 20 minutes. We're not really sure which way he's going to come back out of the White out of the cathedral, back to the White House. So we're going to head down Mass Avenue, down by the embassies, and the chance he might take this route. So down there on my left is Rock Creek Parkway. Uh, the motorcade will go down this shortly, I think. We're up on uh, Georgetown side of the parkway, a brand new bike path, which is actually kind of nice. And it is a gorgeous day. Low 70 degrees, sunny, not really a cloud in the sky. All right, we're back downtown after spending the last bit in our neighborhood. Now we're back in the White House neighborhood simply because I didn't know which way the motorcade was going to run. 
So I know for a fact that Joe Biden is at the cathedral, and I just wonder, is the Marine here when he's not actually in the office? And no, there is no Marine. Interesting. So there is no Marine outside when he's not actually in the office. There's a bunch of staff and visitors taking pictures. <laughs> Slippery. Trigger warning. It is just such a nice day. I mean, it's the kind of day you just want to sit outside, except for oak mites. <laughs> I think the oak mites are dead. I hope they're dead. And these guys are having fun with the truth conductor. No. I guess it takes the Marine a while to get back there. Or at least he's not in the office, they don't go back. God, these cops are every... I tell you, it was a Secret Service birthday party or something today. These guys are just everywhere today. Big groups of them. It's like a birthday party. They all had to go get cake. Loading in the vans. Yeah. The dance team. Is that the beast? Is that actually, that is actually the beast. There goes the beast, guys. The beast is being taken back to another location. No, it's not running with red lights. It's running just over the road. Oh, well, if we can catch up with it. The flags will be off. The seal will be off. That is the beast vehicle. Oh. Stupid bike. Come on, hit a red light. How come I hit the red lights when I drive here and you don't? Ah, oh, bummer. So they're taking it back to wherever the beast goes for storage. <laughs> and they just keep running the red lights. Aha, uh -huh, now he's, uh, he's going to get through this traffic. Bummer. Alright, he's got, he caught the light. He's on his way over the Tidal Basin Bridge. I always thought they kept him in Southwest. I'm not sure. Maybe they're going out to Maryland. 
Okay, that's enough of that. So here is the Lincoln Memorial. Not too crowded. It is a, what, Wednesday? Jeff going out of National. Nothing too interesting here. Some guy with a stick. Always exciting. It's a guy with a stick. So there's our Lincoln Memorial. We're not going to go in today because I'm kind of in a rush, but maybe, maybe in the next day or two we'll pop in, go inside, and see how everything's doing. For now, though, I'm going to head up Rock Creek. Wait my way back to my house. Okay, yeah, you know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> of course. Ah, curb. That sucks. Dumb fuck. All right, we're back at the Kennedy Center. This island of culture surrounded by freeways totally inaccessible to just about everybody except vehicles we we'll have to take a shuttle bus in from the nearest subway it's quite annoying that's what these buses are shuttle buses from the subway there's the water gate the actual break inside is on the other side of this building this is more of the condo side Ooh. Okay. oh my 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 are they filming they are filming here guys so white house plumbers that's what's going on here. I think got the old Volkswagen. It looks like we've got the film truck, the film crew down here at the Watergate. That's the sign sign. WHP, yep, White House Plumbers. So this is the catering truck for the crew. Uh, so and it looks like they are filming, filming in the Watergate today. So oh, now we're going to go past all the star trailers. Wardrobe, that was the wardrobe trailer. It was filled with clothes. These are deadbolted. This must be the, some of that actors. Oh god, now we got a green thingy. To go around the green thingy. Villo, V-I-L-L-O, must be one of the actors. Muscolito, Di 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 Jo, Di Diego. God, I can't pronounce today. De Diego. And this is no name. No name. That's all the production gear inside that. And as many of there are on this side of the street, there's actually a whole slew of them on the other side of the street as well. Whoa, this guy is in a hurry to kill someone. This is mainly me. So guys, that's my day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. I have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, we'll just go out and see what we can find in the big city. I've got to deal with the little kid. I have soccer practice now. But uh, you guys have a good night. Subscribe if you haven't. Share if you haven't. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.